The CEO of a major Houston hospital recently issued a warning to young adults as 60% of COVID-19 patients coming in have been under the age of 50. Meanwhile, healthcare workers who have been working since the outbreak are starting to tire of communities not doing their part. Here to talk about what's happening on the front lines is CEO and president of Houston Methodist Hospital, Dr. Mark Boom. Dr. Boom, thank you so much for being with us. And can you talk a little bit about the influx of COVID cases you're seeing now just in the past couple of weeks and how your hospital is managing it all. Over the last three, four weeks, we've really seen the number of people testing positive in the Houston community uh, really explode. We, we test across the community something like 14, 1500 people positive every day. Thankfully, it's leveled off over the last few days. I'm hoping and praying that's a, a sign of something better to come, but it's leveled off at really high levels. And the preponderance of those individuals this time around are under 50, as you stated. Uh, which tells me that really uh, those under 50 have behaved a little differently, acted a little differently over the last month, and that's part of the reason we've seen this surge. Yeah, Dr. Boom, that was my next question. Why do you believe this is happening, and how do we stop it from continuing? The answer is actually really easy on how to stop it. We know what works. We know that social distancing works. We know that masking works. Um, so with a masking order that came in last week uh, on Friday from the governor, um, I think we're starting to see an inkling of behavior changes and the transmission slowing down in the community. We're going to have to be prepared to continue those kinds of measures really indefinitely if we want to get to a point where we can have the economy running and coexist with COVID. And that's a really critical message for everyone to hear. Yeah, I know, Dr. Boom, you issued a warning to young adults about all of that. Talk a little bit about the toll it's taken on your frontline workers there. Yeah, it, and this is tough. People have been working for four months caring for people with COVID. We'll, we'll cross 3,000 patients today that have come into our hospital during that time, our hospitals during that time. And, you know, a bulk of that now is happening during the last three, four weeks even. So they're tired. Um, uh, they're frustrated, to be honest, because they're watching sometimes in the community that people aren't doing the simple things they know they could do. They're sitting there reaching out, saying to everybody else, come on, wear a mask. If you can save a life, the people we're sitting here watch struggling, breathing every day, why wouldn't you make that tiny little sacrifice and do that for the rest of uh, humankind across the greater Houston area and across the United States? So my key message is wear that mask, keep wearing that mask. It's such a small sacrifice. That's right. We're all in this together. You have to think of others, not just yourself in this. Dr. Mark Boom, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it and all of your efforts. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.